Hello, you're here with Rachel Ventura with Happy Scrapping Squad, and I just received my bundles from convention, and I thought I would open it up and share it with you. Oh, I have the new Home Decor Star. I have the uh, Powder Heaven. It's a snow stamp of, of um, action stamp. I have the Greek alphabet. Really was looking forward to this one. Oh, I have the uh, uh, Paisley Flare, which I also got to use during the extravaganza period when I had to preview the product. Um, Rugged Dude, same with this one, makes a cute little pocket. I have the Seal Family. And it's got, uh, these are one of the quick cards. You can just stamp that, one of your cards, and send it out. I have the Wrangler Assortment, which has both the metal ring with the pearls in it and they're adhesively backed, as well as the patches that ha have adhesive backs as well. I have the brand new Stripe Gross Green Ribbon that's the, the black and white, similar to our brown and white. I have the new foil shades from Dakota. And the Dakota Paper Pack. So it's got the circles. It has some of the paisleys. It has the houndstooth and the weather wood. All right, let's see what's in our next box. All right, this next one here has the Clementine Paper Pack. Oh, it also has the canvas uh, complements as well. So we have the nice flowers. We have um, the yellow and the smaller flowers, and then the pink uh, with the blue on the back. Okay. We also have the journal, which is a canvas covered journal. Very nice. We have several stamp sets. Let's see here. Oh, I've got the new uh, mocha and uh, yellow type assortment, brown and tan assortments for the sparkles. These would definitely get a lot of use. Oh, and I have the new collage flowers where they're uh, flowers with buttons all together with adhesive backs. So you just peel and stick. All right, let's see what type of stamp sets we have in this one. So I have the Seal Love, so similar to the family one, so for it's just for the love. I have the Wards of Comfort, so this is a sympathy type stamp. I have the Casual Expressions, and this, these have a lot of uh, stamps that coordinate with the new Cricut and the old Cricut cartridge. I have the Cup of Cheer, this one I also got to use during the extravaganza preview period when I worked on those projects. And I have the Buttons, Bits, and Bob Flair, Flair. And again, a lot of these coordinate with the Cricut cartridge. All right, let's see what the next bundle has in it. Okay, this one, check out the paper pack first, is the Pear and Partridge Christmas Paper. I'm looking forward to doing some projects with this got the birds on it, the green on the back, um, some of the reds and pinks for Christmas, uh, the stripes, and then this uh, circular one with the green, almost like angels or uh, ivy mixed in for that paper pack. Then I have the, oh these are really cool, the chipboard, but they're um, duplicate layered chipboard. I don't know if you can see that. One out here. And they're already uh, embellish for you. So that's really neat. That's a great time saver. So those are called the In Color Holiday Dimensional Elements. Then I have another pack of Dimensional Elements. These are the white chipboard. Got one that kind of fell down here. Um, and these you can also use with the Cricut cartridge. I have some rub-ons here. Oh, these are the, the velvet, uh, festive velvet rub-ons. A little bit of a tongue twister for me. Take a look at those. Oh, these are the holiday ones. You can kind of see the 
the ornament in there, some flourishes, and some uh, snowflakes on that. I also have the pear and partridge complements, which are raw-bonds as well, but not velvet. Get these opened up. These are the Christmas ones. Okay, and then we got a few stamp sets in here. Let's take a look what we have. I've got the Blessings of Peace Holiday. It's got our dove and our peace on there. It has the Happy Holidays. This is the Merry and Bright Holiday. The wreath and some of the Christmas sayings come in handy for Christmas cards this year. The Christmas Delights. Oh, this one's great for kids. It's got your choo-choo train, your, your rocking horse, and your stocking, I believe. This one is the Christmas Joy. Another great stamp for inside of those cards. And this is our ornament chair, and I believe this one also coordinates with our uh, chipboard, so you can stamp some of those directly on your chipboard, just like so. Okay, let me go on to the next cartridge, next pack bundle. Okay, so our next bundle is the Halloween pack, and this is the Moonlight Paper. I really like this paper, it's one of my favorites. It has the little owls on it. It also has a green on the back and some black uh, paper with some swirls, a little bit of purple there, uh, a nice uh, cream color, and some stripes. So you could easily use this for fall um, as well as Halloween. All right, with that, I've got the glitter alphabet stamps, or I'm sorry, not stamps, uh, stick-on. So you just remove these from the sheets and place them on your projects. I've got some chipboard here. These are the Moonlight Compliments. Two sheets of chipboard. Also comes with the arbor wooden shapes, similar to some of the shapes we have now, but for the fall, so we can have lots of leaves, uh, acorns, uh, stuff like that. The haunted assortment. So these are uh, they're stick-ons, and they're the epoxy with the color brads, and then it has these little skull pins uh, as well. And I've got some stamp sets here. I have the Quick Cards, uh, Bountiful Seasons, which is a beautiful stamp. Uh, would look great multicolored. I have the Creepy Creatures. And this one works really well with the Workshop on the Go stamp for this, which also has, I believe, the next one is a Frankenstein. And it matches the same size as these stamps. So it's a good collection to collect. This one is the Fall Harvest. We've got some acorns, some beautiful leaves. These, again, would look great with some coloring with our alcohol markers or the, some multi-coloring with our stamp sets. This one is called the Magic Potions, and it coordinates with the Cricut cartridge that we have. And this is our uh, Abundance Thanksgiving stamp. Again, this one would look really great colored in with some of our markers or even multi-colored with an ink pad. All right, I've got two bundles left, so let me open those last two up. Send this out of the way. Oh, my, I have got three bundles in here actually. All right, this is going to be our new color packets. These are our neutral colors. Keeps giving me a hard time. All right, so some of our neutral colors are our saddle. We've got the new ruby, the whisper, which is a light gray color. Our dark gray color is slate. The cashmere, which is almost like a blend of uh, desert sand and the brown bag. And we have champagne, which is a little bit of a blend of the, the parchment um, with some of the uh, a darker brown in there. All right, then we have the Perfect Fit Halloween. And these are, work well with our circle punch. You could also use the Cricut to create circles there. I have the holiday one, which is called Perfect Fit Holidays. And again, great with our circle punch. Cute little bird. I've got the Glamour Lowercase Alphabet. And I also have this Perfect Fit Frames. A little bit of a flare. And these 
coordinate with our Cricut cartridge. And I have paper packs for all of the new uh, uh, base colors, our neutrals, and that bright ruby. Okay, let's see what's in this one. Okay, so we have the bracket frame, which is also known as a shadow box. You can see it's got the corners on there, so you can just slide your pictures in, or you can glue them directly to the back, and then you can decorate the front. We have the family tree, everyday life. This is a great stamp set. I plan to do um, a project in the fall for uh, family and for Thanksgiving with this on the inside of the shadow box. A little bit of paper piece, and I think we'll go into that workshop. Then I have the, um, ooh, I don't know how to say this, pyrette. You can use this as a top of bags to close off to make bag toppers or also make snowflakes. You could probably even um, alter it to make flowers with this as well. I can see this is a great project for some string art in the future. Then I've got flaky friends, and these are our little snowman. Love the snowman every year. Then we have uh, Festival of the Lights. This is a Hanukkah stamp here. Then uh, to yours, to you and yours, this has got the cardinal on it. So this one I definitely will be using and coloring in for my Christmas cards this year. I could add uh, a little bit of the liquid applique to add some fluffy snow onto those stamps as well. All right, then I have the uh, brocade assortment. This goes really well with uh, steampunk or any of the Victorian type stuff. We've got some metal keys here, and these are adhesively backed. We've got their parlor rub-ons, which are similar to the festive rub-ons, but these are in a gray instead of the red. Then I have the uh, Avalie paper, I believe is how you pronounce it. We've got um, large circles and flour flourishes in there, uh, a little bit of a twilight color and an olive, some other circles, and a little bit of a crisscross pattern in there with um, some words and stuff on the back. So great. Uh, holiday paper. You can use it for big January um, or just use it as your base colors. It's got a lot of neutral colors in there. And then I also have the complements which are the canvas stickies that you can um, use with that paper pack. Alright, so let's check out our last bundle in here. cube here. It's a little bit bigger than our Rock the Block ones. It's three inches versus the two inch cubes. Um, you've got two of these. It would make great calendar turners. I have the um, the Memo Assortment which has a couple of different tags on them. A nice chip, a thick chipboard and um, some a number uh, epoxy circles to stick on those as well. These uh, pop up a little bit, they're canvas, but they're, they're awfully thick for the letters, so you can probably do a lot of different textures and, and distressing with these. I have the chalkboard letters, or I'm sorry, chalkboard shapes, which are called chalkboard shapes. And they also have adhesive back, but you can write on them with either chalk, which does erase, or with the chalk marker, which is permanent, does not erase. I also have the Scholastic My Stickies Assortment, so this has got um, some great library things to it, as well as some school stamps you can use to tell a tale, great for summer reading programs, and of course the Scholastic paper that matches that. Love the ABC's distress on there. Got the line graph paper and our library do cards, a nice uh, canvas burlap look to it, and then the book one, love the book one. Um, and then some more of the graph and chart paper in there. And I've got some stamp sets, so let's go over a couple of those. We've got the Game On, which is all of our sports on there. Much needed stamp, especially after the summer and the fall sports coming up. We've got the Frame It Up, and this is all your frames. And again, these coordinate with the Cricut cartridge. Some stamp and some flourish frames. I've got the School Is Here. Got a cute school bus and crayons and marker, uh, crayons and pencils with your apple back to school. It's great for September. Some of some of you guys going back in August. 
And then out of this world, it's got our little aliens and spaceship and stuff like that. So those are my bundles. I hope you enjoy seeing some of the new product live in person, and I will see you next time.